I'm Ken Burnside, and we're going to show you the reverse of an unboxing video, a boxing video, for Squadron Strike Traveler. Squadron Strike Traveler comes primarily in a box form, although we'll, although we'll cover what comes in the folio packets as well. Uh, you see an empty box here, and I'm putting in the two deluxe map sheets. These are the maps that you made possible with your generous support of Squadron Strike Traveler. As you can see, they are, well, hopefully you can see, they are gorgeous maps. This is the blue. This is the blue map sheet. In the background, you can hear the printer going that is printing off more copies of Squadron Strike Traveler as I do this. So first, we have the maps. The next thing we put into the box are going to be the laminated cards that make the game playable. Now, all of these cards are more or less redundant with the new uh, Avid Assistant application that you can get on Google Play and soon on the iTunes Store. But the first one that we give you is the reference card, which has a range angle lookup table. And over on this side, we have the sequence of play. The sequence of play is, re is repeated over here. It's set up so that you can put a paper clip and keep track of where you are. And on the reverse, we have a wide array of uh, useful charts and tables, including ones for vector consolidation and everybody's favorite, the large salvo tables which allow you to reduce the amount of die rolling in the game and get the same results. These two go in the bottom here. And now we have the Avid cards. These are the laminated cards that you use to control your ships. Uh, these are the Type 1 Avids. They have a blue Avid on one side and a red Avid on the other. And you get three of them. You also get three of the Type 2 Avid cards which I am about to show you here because they wandered off. Uh, the Type 2 Avid cards have a blue Avid on one side and a red corner Avid on the other. Uh, the corner Avids allow you to set up your game such that you can use either the, you know, you know, any edge of the hex map. The Type 3 Avid cards are the reverse of the Type 2s. They have a red Avid on one side and they have a blue corner Avid on the other. So we've put in the cards, we've put in the uh, counter sheets. Uh, sorry, we put in the uh, cards, we put in the maps, and now we're going to show off the counter sheets. Uh, the counter sheets start with a with counter sheet number one, which is the imperial counter sheet. Then goes on to counter sheet number two, which is the Jodani counter sheet. Counter sheet number three is sort of a hodgepodge and has a mixture of Jodani and Imperial and Oslan ships. And counter sheet four has more Oslan ships and all the destroyers you could shake a stick at. Counter sheet four is the counter sheet that was made possible by your generous contributions to the Kickstarter. Next, after the counter sheets, we have the weapon reference tables. These have uh, TL-14 weapons for the Jordani and the Oslan, and TL-15 weapons used by the Imperium. You get two copies of this so that one can be on either side of the table, and it will be a free download on the website in a few minutes. So now that we put in all the loose bits, it's time to take a look at the other stuff that goes in the box. Now, we're going to start with the introduction to the Third Imperium. This is Traveler for people. This is the introduction to Traveler for people who basically have never played Traveler before. It has a history of the Third Imperium, it has all of the scenarios, it has lots of new information on the naval history for the Imperium. The, cons the Jodani Consulates, and the Aslan Hierates. In addition to this, it's got a dozen scenarios, or well, actually about ten scenarios, with fiction leading into all of them, and some sample naval characters to introduce as NPCs in your Traveler campaign. After that book, we have the meat of the product. This is the SSD book. This is all of the ships that are in Squadron Strike Traveler. You can see that there's quite a few of them based on the reference table in the back. You get 3D versions and 2D versions of most of the, of all of the, of most of the ships. And we'll walk you through just looking at the Atlantic, which is the first ship in the set. So the Atlantic has a full class history describing how it was built and why. If you've read Battletech Technical Readouts, this is a very similar sort of thing, only for Traveler. It also has a piece of glorious artwork by Charles Oynes. Then we have the th then we have the 3D version of the SSD, which is the one that I generally expect people to play on. And we have 2D versions of the SSD up here. 
You can see that it has a limited AVID over here for, for maneuvering your ship, and it only has the 2D uh, defensive arcs, and it has 2D firing arcs that you can see right here. Finally, to round out the set, uh, we have a 3D variant of all of the ships. This is the export version of the Atlantic uh, that I'm moving across the camera here. And it mostly replaces things with particle beams because, well, you don't want to arm your inconvenient allies with your best weaponry. Uh, in a couple of cases, like the Gionetti, the uh, extra SST is a refit to what the ship should have been because, well, nobody should build ships that are armed with Mison guns that don't have Mison screens. But that's what the canonical Gionetti has. Lastly, well, almost lastly, we have the Squadron Strike Traveler tutorial. This is a stage tutorial that will walk you through all the things you need to learn to play the game, uh, adding new rules and new complexity on each scenario. If you go through all four scenarios in order, you will pretty much pick up everything you need to play the game. Also note that on the front is your serial number, which you'll want to go and enter at services.adastragames.com to go and uh, get the downloadable content, which includes the Ajanti High Lightning class cruiser. The last bit of printed material we put into the box set is the Squadron Strike 2nd Edition rulebook. This has all the rules you need to play Squadron Strike, and Traveler only uses a subset of them. Uh, this happens to be a deluxe edition, and you can see why the deluxe edition is printed in full color, because most of the play are printed in full color. Notice that I have to push down on the box to create space in this. Lastly, we have the plastic bits. These are tilt blocks. You have red ones and blue ones to match the red and blue sides of the map. We have stacking tiles. These are used to show altitude, and they nest inside of the uh, tilt blocks. White is 1 altitude, light blue is 4, the dark blue is 16, and the black tile right here is a negative altitude for going below the plane of the map. You get two bags of these tacking tiles. And lastly, everybody's favorite thing in the world, you get some dice. Uh, the red die is used for accuracy, the two black dice are used for penetration die rolls, and the blue die is used for hit location die rolls. This has been a complete build-up of Squadron Strike Traveler. Let's see if this box will actually close. Oh, hey, it almost will. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And as this one is going to be a box set used for a deluxe edition, we're going to wrap it up, and then I'm going to go and put a couple of stickers indicating it's a deluxe edition so that I don't misship it, so I don't misship it to somebody. The first wave of Squadron Strike Traveler shipments should be coming out uh, late next week. I'm waiting for a few things to arrive from third-party components, but I've been told that they will be shipping on Monday and should be here by Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, what I can ship early in the week, I will ship. This has been the Build Up for Squadron Strike Traveler, a boxing video. Thank you for your attention, and I'm looking forward to getting this out to everybody.